Anime games are popping up everywhere. The entire genre is going multi-platform these days. You don't just get a new anime, but also a new game, some manga, and a whole mess of other content. In some cases, there are anime based on games now, looking at you, Azur Lane. In any case, anime fans have a lot of options when playing games based on an anime. Here are the best anime games for Android. Please note that all of these are free to play games and most of their negative reviews are from players who have basically reached the end of the game and have nothing left to do. I also have anime YouTube channel name, Weebu, where I upload videos like these. If you love to watch anime content then I request you to check out that channel link in the description now let's continue the video. 1. Azur Lane Azur Lane is relatively new, having become an anime in fall 2019. However, the game was announced in September 2018. This is a mobile gacha RPG with shooting, simulation, and side-scrolling elements. You collect anthropomorphic girls that act as warships. You do battle with the bad guys with your ship girls. The game takes place in an alternate universe version of World War II. In addition to its obvious Kantai collection inspiration, the game has characters from Hyperdimension Neptunia and Armored Trooper Votums. It's a decent little gacha game, especially for MO fans. 2. Bleach Brave Souls Bleach Brave Souls is one of the older anime games on the list, but it's still kicking today. It's an RPG gacha style game where players summon various characters from the Bleach universe. From there, you level them up, use them to complete the story, and play with or against other players. The game is quite long and pretty grindy. That's to be expected for a gacha. The only problem comes when you hit the endgame where all you have left to do is pull the latest new characters and complete banners. The co-op community can be a bit irritating at times as well. Otherwise, it's a pretty good game. 3. Don Machi. Memoria Freeze Don Machi. Memoria Freeze is from the anime, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Obnoxious anime name aside, Memoria Freeze ended up being a pretty decent game. It's a classic Japanese gacha experience. You summon characters from the show, level them up, and fight bad guys. The game also includes the original voice actors from the game, various customization elements, and online PvP. The game started out fairly rough but has since cleaned up its act. 4. Dragon Ball Legends Dragon Ball Legends is a fighter with some light RPG, gacha, and adventure elements. It features a story mode as well as online PvP multiplayer. You can also collect all of the various Dragon Ball characters. The combat mechanics are similar to many free-to-play mobile fighters. It's mostly a series of simple taps and swipes rather than any complicated mechanics. The Dragon Ball series was always a little too dry for my tastes, and the game is much the same way. However, fans of the series seem to really like this one over most of the other mobile Dragon Ball games. Most of the complaints we saw were for lack of new content and some connection issues. Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle, Google Play, is another great Dragon Ball game for fans of the series. 5. Fate Grand Order Fate Grand Order is from the massive and popular Fate anime. It's a fairly standard gacha mobile RPG. You collect some of the massive cast of characters from the long-running series and do battle against the bad guys. It features a story mode, online PvP, and it's fairly friendly for F2P, free-to-play, players. Most of the cast is fully voiced as well. We appreciate those little touches. Of course, it does have the same pitfalls as any mobile gacha. There is a ton of grinding, a little luck, and some corny dialogue involved. However, the Fate series itself is much the same way. Plus, this is one of the few mobile RPGs that play in landscape mode. More space is a good thing. 6. Honkai Impact 3rd Honkai Impact 3rd followed a similar path as Azur Lane. It started out as just a mobile game but eventually had an anime adaptation. The game works like most gotchas but has a little more action with hack and slash action RPG mechanics. It's a colorful game with plenty of characters and plenty of things to do. There are also seasonal events to keep things fresh for endgame players. There are in-app purchases along with a subscription cost. The subscription just gives you some guaranteed items on a timely basis, and you don't really need it to enjoy the game. This same developer also does the critically acclaimed mobile RPG Genshin Impact, Google Play, which is another shoe in for this list as well. 7. 
One Piece Treasure Cruise It's bizarre to think that there are adults on this earth who don't know what a life without One Piece looks like. That's about the same with anime games and Treasure Cruise. The game has been around for a long time. It's a gacha RPG like most anime games. You can summon from a pool of 2000 characters, one of the largest of any gacha ever developed. There are various stories to play through, seasonal events to grind, and plenty of things to do. It can be a little overwhelming at first, but keep at it. You get used to most things pretty quickly. 8. The Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross The Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross is yet another mobile RPG gacha. This one takes place in the Seven Deadly Sins universe and you can get most of the characters from the series. The game also features an online PvP mode, a two-player co-op mode, and more. Unlike most gotchas, you can customize the appearance of most characters so it's not the same sprite all the time. Most of the complaints about this one revolve around its download size, which tops 4 gigabytes. 9. Sword Art Online. Memory Defrag Sao. Memory Defrag is a popular game from a very popular anime. It keeps a lot of elements from the show, though. It features a hack and slash action RPG style with a story mode as well as online PvP. You can play both modes solo or with friends if you want to. It is a gacha game. That means you can collect a bunch of characters from the show and upgrade each one. It won't blow your socks off with unique mechanics or anything, but it's a fairly decent mobile RPG. Most of the complaints about this one air optimization issues and the occasional game crash. 10. Tales of Crestoria Tales of Crestoria is the newest entrant into the Tales series from Bandai Namco. It uses a lot of the same visual, gameplay, and audio elements from the Tales games. You'll likely also find characters you've seen before. Crestoria doesn't have its own anime, but the Tales series has many games and some anime as well, so it counts. The game's a little poorly on budget, mid-range, and older devices, but otherwise, it's a fairly standard gacha with many Tales elements. That is it for today guys I hope you liked the video if you then please subscribe. And tell me in the comment section next on which topic do you want. Video.